Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'll talk about all the serious issues that most of the non-CSE students used to face that how to prepare for coding, how to improve the coding skill. So in recent times, I have talked with uh, many non-CSE students. Uh, many of them are currently preparing for their gate and few of them are currently joined uh, IIT Kharagpur and they are, they are doing their masters from there. And they have this common concern that, you know, how to prepare for coding because they feel uh, they don't have that much expertise in the coding and that's which is normal because in the undergraduate days there is hardly any coding uh, program or coding subject is there that gives them the flavor of coding so that's why they think that they are lagging uh, in terms of coding skill and many of them actually they want to switch their stream uh, they want to uh, switch to computer science they want to appear for different product based companies in the computer science they are taking courses uh, from computer science uh, stream only so that's why they're thinking even after doing all of these things if they don't have the coding skill will they be able to compete in the in the mtech placement with the csc student because they think uh, csc students are already ahead uh, compared to them because they already have a skill set in terms of different coding languages because they have done a lot of coding in their undergraduate days that's why they think that you know if they don't do well in the coding uh, they won't be able to crack uh, the placement and this is something i uh, you know they feel that this is a weakness for them but i personally feel this is kind of a psychological thing uh, this is a fear of you know not be able to in in different companies that is working on and that i am going to discuss in this video in detail that you know what you should do so that you can overcome this uh, uh, this weakness or this fear and you do well in your in your placement interviews so that will be the content of this video so if you want to know detail about it please do watch the video till end and before starting the video i always say if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly with us further ado let us start into today's video so as i was saying this lack of coding skill this is actually not your weakness rather it's a fear or it's a psychological thing that can be recovered but before that you have to understand where the problem is so the first thing is that you are thinking that to get into these different top companies like Amazon, Flipkart, LinkedIn, Google, you have to go through a coding round and you won't be able to crack the coding round because you, you are not an expert or you don't have any skill set in any coding languages. And because, because you are from a non cc background in your undergraduate days, you don't uh, have that much of exposure in coding because you don't have enough uh, coding uh, subjects in your curriculum and you didn't do that much coding in your undergraduate days. And that's why you are not confident uh, whether you will be able to do coding or not. And even you are not confident whether if you start from today uh, till your MTech placement, uh, whether you will be able to reach into that level where you can crack those uh, coding rounds and you can uh, eventually crack uh, that particular company's interview or selection procedure. So that is the number one problem. And number two problem is related to the CSE student. Uh, you are thinking that the CSE students, as they have done a lot of coding into their BTEC days, they already have expertise and that's why it will be easy work for them that, you know, they will be easily crack the coding round. And, and 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 most of the companies will prefer them uh, because by by the time of em tech placement the csc people they will be even more experts and they will easily able to crack the uh, coding interview so that's why you are feeling insecure that in the top um, progress companies most of the time maybe csc people will be selected and uh, you being a non csc student won't be able to crack it now these two problems or these two issues what you are thinking that is not actually true so the first coming to the CSE student part, uh, it's not true that all the CSE students are experts in the coding languages. There are many CSE students who don't like doing coding. They are not that much good in coding. They might be good in other stuff, like they might be good in mathematical uh, part of the computer science. But there are many students who are not at all good in the coding skill. And they also often you know, struggle in the, in, the, in the coding part of the different placement interviews. So this is not true that all the CSE students are good in the coding skill. And this is something that you have to put into your mind that you are not competing with the CSE student rather you are competing with everyone who is appearing for the uh, placement interviews irrespective of the CSE students and the non CSE student. Next is will you able to learn coding to a level where you can appear for different product based companies clear their coding round and eventually make your way to that particular company through the selection process and that is also something that is very much possible even if you haven't done any coding in your undergraduate days being a non CSE student you can start after your undergraduate and you can you can practice it enough so that until your uh, mtech placement you will be able to able to learn it up to a level where 
you can clear the uh, coding round of different product based companies the only way is you have to practice practice and practice the only way to be experts or be masters in any coding language is you have to do a lot of practice so i i would suggest you that you take any basic programming languages like c or c++ suppose and start learning it from very scratch or very basic start start uh, start learning it from the very first thing that is there in the coding and gradually go to the very advanced level why i am saying this that if you can understand one particular coding languages like c or c++ very well then you can easily switch to other programming languages because programming is all about developing logics so the you have to develop a logic for a particular algorithm in that particular uh, coding language or programming languages and once you are done with uh, any specific coding coding uh, languages like c or c++ then how to develop logic that will be clear to you you will be easily able to uh, develop a logic or develop an algorithm for any problem and then if someone tells you that you have to write it suppose in the python language or java suppose then only thing you need to know is that how to write a logic in 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 that particular language like python or java so you have to just learn the syntax in in python or syntax in java but your logic part will be same uh, the way you build logic for the c programming languages the similar way you will be developing the logic for other programming languages like python or java so that's why you have to be expert or you have to learn one specific programming language that is c or c++ and then you can easily migrate to other programming languages like python java and whatever will be needed in your future life you will be easily to uh, easily able to do that so that's why the first thing that you need to do is you choose any specific programming languages learn it as much as possible from the very basic to the advanced level and then practice practice and practice now how much coding will be needed for you if you are a non csc student if you are planning to go to iits or iisc for your mtech and then eventually if you want to move to csc domain and join any product based companies like amazon flipkart and google and this kind of companies so first thing is you need to understand coding uh, if you are planning to appear for gate in computer science and there you just need to understand the c pseudo code uh, so the basic understanding of c will be needed and you need to understand data structure algorithm so that will be there you don't need to write any coding uh, for your for your gate preparation because in the gate mostly the pseudo codes will be given to you and you will be asked to Uh, write the output of it so you need to understand how uh, the logic works in c programming languages and 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 data structure algorithm so that you need to understand and that will be sufficient for your gate syllabus once you crack the gate uh, in in different iits and iisc nowadays there is a there is a written uh, round uh, not only the gate score will be sufficient you have to appear for a written test and there they will ask you few coding question and for that the basic c programming skill will be sufficient so you have to just practice the basic uh c c questions and few uh, easy data structure algorithm question they might ask like binary search or binary you know search tree and this kind of question so basic uh, coding skill in c and data structure algorithm that will be sufficient for you for the uh, selection procedure in different iits and iisc for the mtech now once you join in any iits or iisc for mtech in your mtech curriculum while you will be doing different course work there also coding skill will be needed so in any, any course in iits or iisc in the mtech curriculum there is a certain weightage that will be given to some programming uh, assignments or maybe there will be some projects also where you need to do a lot of coding and the problem is they are from different course to course the coding language will vary so suppose if you are taking a ai ml course suppose so there you have to uh, do coding in the python languages and if you have taken some system courses there might be you have to do coding in c++ or java so you have to be flexible that you know you can you can you can switch from one language to other languages and you can easily learn the syntax and you are very very well uh, you know well skilled uh with the with the logic part so that's why i'm saying that before joining uh, any iit or isc whatever time will be given to you so after your gate till you are joining iit or isc this 4 to 5 months that will be given that will be that will be there where you have no work you will be free try to learn as much coding as possible because that time you have to utilize learning coding practice as much as coding possible so that before joining iit is your your logic part part will be clear you will be thorough with any specific coding languages like c or c++ or python then what happen is once you join iit or iisc and you have to learn a new coding languages uh, for any specific course work it will be easy for you because you you already have a expertise in any in, in a specific coding languages you know the logic and just you have to understand the syntax of any uh, other languages which will be needed for your course work 
and finally you need coding for your mtech placement and there you have to do dsa i mean data structure algorithm kind of coding and their coding will be completely different than whatever you are doing uh, during your uh, mtech course work so for placement you have to do competitive coding you have to solve different data structure algorithm kind of questions in a limited time phase and for that uh, you can follow different portals that is they are they are nowadays like geeks for geeks is there lead code is there you can go and practice your codes as much as possible there for the placement interview so i would suggest you if you are a non csc student and if you if you don't have any coding uh, background in your undergraduate days so uh, during your gate preparation you can you can you can study c programming language and try to understand the understand the um, the logics and then once the gate is done uh, from from february till july when you'll be joining into different iits isc whatever the four to five months that you are getting try to prepare for coding try to learn coding try to practice coding as much as possible so that your your your, your habit of practicing coding is uh, built and then once you join iits and isc in your course work uh, do do decent amount of coding to solve uh, different programming assignments or projects and whenever you will be getting some leisure time or free time try to do competitive coding that will be actually a preparation for your uh, placement that will happen in the third semester third semester so for you the only thing is whenever you will get time practice as much coding as possible and believe me then till your placement days you will find that you are doing equally good compared to the csc student and even sometimes i have seen there are there are some non csc student they do better coding than even the csc student so that is very much possible the only thing you have to do is you have to start early because you don't have any coding skill you have to practice as much as possible during whatever time that you are getting during your gate days after gate or even in the mtech days and that will be uh, helpful for you for your uh, final goal that is to get placed in a good product based company yeah that's it guys that's it about this video i personally feel this message should be delivered to all of you who are from non csc background and who feel coding is a tough job and you won't be able to make it to different product based companies because you can't you, you won't be able to crack the coding round but that's not the not the case you also with proper practice will, will be able to crack different coding round and it's not the thing that csc students are ahead of you yeah they they have some expertise but if you do a lot of practice you can reach uh, to their level and i have seen many non csc students uh, who come to csc and they're doing really great work in csc and they're doing uh, really great great coding in different companies so it's not true that you know uh, csc students are ahead of you it's it's not a weakness of yourself rather it's a kind of psychological thing which you can recover uh, with proper practice and you will be able to reach a level where you can crack different companies so if you have any other question related to any other things please let me know in the comment section and if you like this video please like it and share this video to all of your uh, uh, friends who are also from non csc background so that you know they also get this message and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye